the Sikh turban. What is a turban? A turban is a type of headwear based on cloth winding. The turban houses and protects Sikh's, Sikh's uncut hair, called gase, coiled on top of the head. The hair is tied at an important spiritual centre of the body, the dasam dawar, which means the tenth gate, and the turban contains the hair. The turban also crosses pressure points on the temples which help a person to be calm and centred. The turban is the insignia of a Sikh so that we have to stand out and be accountable for the values that we hold. Wearing a turban has always been in the Sikh tradition from the time of Sri Guru Nanak Dev, but it was formalised by Sri Guru Harkobin Sahib in Declaration of Sovereignty and royalty despite the fact that only kings and wealthy people at the time wore turbans. We can see that turbans signify royalty. Wearing a turban is of importance because Sikhs have been given the turban by their gurus, who were powerful spiritual leaders and Sikhs are their children. The turban is our guru's gift to us. It is how we crown ourselves as the Sings and Kors who sit on the throne of commitment to our own higher consciousness. Notably, in traditional Indian society, only males of high caste or the elite ruling class wore turbans. In requiring all Sikhs to don turbans, Sri Guru Gobind Singh envisioned all individuals as noble. Sikh women adhere the same lifestyle, symbols, rules and conduct, but relatively few choose to wear turbans. Women are encouraged to wear turbans because this is the tradition not based on gender but on the human body, but most Sikh women choose not to wear one. Young Sikh boys, instead of wearing a turban, often cover their uncut hair which is tied in a top knot with a simple piece of fabric called a patka. Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sri Guru Nanak Dev was the first teacher who organised the Sikh religion. He travelled across Asia on four udasya, which means pilgrimages to spread the teachings of Sikhism. He encouraged people to engage in the values of Sikhism and these were of relevance to everyone, not just Sikhs. Sri Guru Hargobind Sahib, he was the sixth teacher within the Sikh religion. He taught the Sikh people how to defend themselves at a time when the Sikh religion was discriminated against. He taught the importance of physical, mental and spiritual strength. He became the sixth teacher at the young age of 11, after the martyrdom of his father, Sri Guru Arjan Dev. Sri Guru Gobind Singh. He was the tenth and final living Guru. He was a warrior and poet. He had four sons that all sacrificed their lives while fighting injustice. Sri Guru Gobind Singh bestowed the Guruship to Sri Guru Granth Sahib, the final and eternal Guru, thus ending any future human succession to the Gugadhi, which means throne. Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Sri Guru Granth Sahib is the 11th and eternal teacher. Sri Guru Granth Sahib is not a person, but a collection of texts embodying the teachings of Sikhism, accessible to everyone for all time. Sikhs only bow down to Sri Guru Granth Sahib, nobody or nothing else. Choices. Wearing a turban is not compulsory. You have the choice to wear it. People wear it to show that they are a Sikh, but many don't as they are not ready to. But that doesn't make them any less of a Sikh than those who choose to wear one. The Sikh values are truth, equality, respect, social justice, service to humanity and tolerance for other religions. The Essential Message of Sikhism The essential message of Sikhism is spiritual devotion and reverence to God at all times while practising the ideals of honesty, compassion, humility and generosity in everyday life. The Sikh turban is also a symbol of honour and self-respect. We believe in you. We believe in you.